All right, so we are back, back by popular demand. We are on day two, part two of the Can We Fly a Kite with a DJI Mavic 3. And the first one, it didn't go out, it didn't go too well. It was partly because I was dumb and I put in a battery that was only about 25%. So like by the time I was up in the air, it was already beeping at me saying, hey, it's about to, you know, it's gotta come down. So it started coming down and then I was freaking out because you can see the kite line slowly go up higher and higher and almost hit the propeller because the kite was obviously not coming down. It was a gusty day. Yeah, it just crash landed. You know, I would call it a, a success, you know? Today we're gonna use what we learned and uh, I 3D printed some parts for it. I think I found it. There's two versions. But I think this is the one. Yeah, let's do it. So the parts were like almost there, but I had to modify them a little bit by adding like a quarter, 20 on the top, and then turning a kite handle into a GoPro mount. So let's look at this uh, custom 3D printed Mavic 3 cage, I'm gonna call it, that has a GoPro mount on the bottom of it. On the top, we have a quarter of 20 that can be used for pretty much anything. We can throw a 360 camera up here if we wanted to, or we can build a custom mount that goes to the back of this and holds a wire, for example. Uh, I just put it up there because I felt it just adds a little bit of versatility in case we need it. We currently are not using it. But on the bottom side, we are using this. So we still have access to one of these camera sensors on the bottom and this ultrasonic sensor here. So we still have that functionality, which is great. And then this is the custom kite handle with a GoPro mount on it. So all we have to do is attach it to this, use one of these GoPro screws and screw it on. This is the setup right here. This cage around it is held in with some metal inserts and some screws, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And this is the GoPro mount. And this is a customized kite handle. So I have to make this, but with a GoPro mount on it, so I can mount it on the GoPro mount that's gonna be on my drone now. So I found this piece. All I did was throw on some GoPro fingers on the top of it, and now we have this. So I think it'll work out fine. It does move back. I did like this GoPro style mount because we can angle it. So this is probably where I'm gonna angle it and then put the wire right here so then the kite would still be coming out of the back of the center of the drone. So it's not like getting pulled in a weird direction. So that is the whole new setup. Compared to the last time, it was just you know some tape. So I'm excited to see if this works. Aside from the 3D print, I did get some goodies from the hardware store. We have some wire. So I'm gonna try to use this wire to kind of guide the, the kite line back a little bit more. It's pretty thick wire, so I think we should be good. All I really wanna do is guide the wire downwards. So like when it's getting pulled, it's not gonna get caught like last time when I'm trying to land. Cause that's the, the, I think once it's in the air, it's fine. But like once we need to land, it's gonna be hard. If the kite isn't coming down with the drone, then the, the line will just like go up behind the propellers and ruin our day. So that's what we don't want to happen. So let's go ahead and start adding this wire and then we should be ready to launch. Wire. Why are you doing that? <laughs> uh, stupid, bro. So I think we can just use this. If we use this hole, and then maybe wrap it around this front piece here. All right, so we're looking good. So one thing I did forget was to bring some sort of weight, but I'm just gonna do what I did last time and just use that gaff tape as my weight. So now we have this. I think we should be good. Hopefully this works. So the whole setup I think should work fine. I'm gonna put this in the front a little bit. This is tight, as tight as it can be. 
I'm still able to be flat and launch. So let's test it out. I'm gonna get the kite and we'll put the kite on and then do our first test flight. Let's get the kite set up first, I suppose. It won't take me as long to figure this one out because I remember how to do it. Okay, it's getting hot. I'm not nervous or anything. It's just getting hot. All right, it's go time. Also, I found out I don't have insurance on this drone. It uh, expired, so. Hopefully I don't crash. Oops, we're hitting something. We were hitting the, uh, the tape. Okay, sensors are all off. Let's just take it. I don't want to land. Let's just stay low. Landing. Don't land. <laughs> it's so stupid. All right, it's working. To an extent, that's what we want it to do. And then the other goal is to actually move with it. Yay. And then go the other way. So this is the way with the wind. So you can kind of see it lifting up there. But the wire, oh, that's actually doing pretty good. Uh oh. We were getting too much lift right there. So it is working. I'm gonna just fix, fix his little wings here. That's what I'm afraid of right here. It's like the wind picks up right there. Ah. Okay, the wind's getting a little gustier. Let's come down a little bit. So let's try landing. I think the best way to do it is honestly, I'm gonna have Albert there with us. He's not here today, but all he has to do is catch the bottom of it and then catch it. So I think landing won't be an issue. I'm not gonna be able to land by myself today, but let's see what we can do here. Coming down really fast works. Oh, here we go. Now we're losing it. Uh-oh. That's not good. This is not good. We need to go down. Let's come down. Ah. Well, we knew that was gonna happen. So I think if I double up the wires, I think we'll be good then. I'm actually very happy with that outcome. Clearly a big wind gust will take it, but all we have to do is, I think, add a little bit more wire on here so there's more of like a bounce back because when the wind took it, it did kind of pull up very close to catching onto the, the propellers, but it came down almost immediately because the tension of the wire pulled it back down. Let's add a little bit more wire here. Hey. Well, I'm hoping for not as much wind. I'm uh, trying to... I'll switch into a drone. 
Yeah, so I'm trying to use the drone to like guide it places. So I don't really want a lot of wind because if the wind gets up too high, it's going to catch in the propellers, but... Yeah, I had it up there for a little while. And then it did catch almost and I basically crash landed. It should work this time though. I had a little bit more wire on here. I have a damaged propeller, but hopefully it'll still fly. Home point updated. Sweet. Landing. Uh oh. Okay. It's working, but it's gonna. this way. Nope. <laughs> nope, but it works. So thank you. That's a success. I'm very happy right now. So I might cut some holes into this and kind of lose the uh, aerodynamics of the kite because we don't want it flying this well. So currently here's what, what's happening. This weight is actually helping quite a bit. You can see the wire is never getting above that. And currently still working well and drone is, kite is on the, t the ground, which is fine. Everything's working out really well, so I'm gonna call it before I uh, do something dumb and crash the drone. But day two, it is a success because we did get to launch. We have the GoPro mount with the custom kite handle and the cage for the drone itself is working out really well. I might see if we can get a better weight system because right now gaff tape is a little sketch. And to do it all legally, which I think you do have to have it not adversely affect the drone's flight. So currently it's flying just fine the way it is, even with the kite on it. So I think legally we are still okay. But if anyone out there knows that this is 100% illegal, let me know because, yeah, I don't want to be fined or lose my license. Cool, let's just do a few more test runs. <laughs> so it doesn't like being flown in the direction of you know, the opposite direction of the wind, which, yeah, that makes sense. So I think, let's just try it though. I'll go up a little bit higher. fast enough. Yeah, we're good. Look at that. You can see it. Yeah, look at it. Look at it go. crash land and now we should be able to land I'm just gonna catch it all right so that's what Albert would have to do to catch this yeah I think we're good <laughs> I love trying things, so fun. Okay, we did it. 
that's going to conclude this video. The series is not over, of course. Um, I'll probably do some more testing and I'm going to document that. I know this is a very niche thing for anyone to do. So this might not resonate with a lot of people, but if you love just doing different things and trying different things, subscribe because I love doing that stuff. And I think I want to start a series called Let's Do It or Let's Try It. And basically we just experiment and try different things like this. This is very, really weird. And of course there's challenges along the way and documenting all that is really fun. So if you love that stuff, please subscribe, hit that like button. All that stuff's gonna, you know, get this to the people that need to see it because this is very niche. Uh, but if you help out just by liking, subscribing and leaving a comment below, maybe we can make this more mainstream. Flying a kite with the Mavic 3. Thank you, bye.